Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your August the 6th, just for today in a meditation. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing good. I'm just waking up. However, I feel good. I slept in a little bit, so I feel good about that as well. Okay, here is your August the 6th, just for today in a meditation. The joy within. Since the beginning of our recovery, we have found that joy doesn't come from material things, but from within ourselves. That comes from the basic text, page 107. Some of us came to Narcotics Anonymous impoverished by our disease. Everything we owned had been lost to our addiction. Once we got clean, we put all our energy into recovering our material possessions, only to feel even more dissatisfied with our lives than before. Other members have sought to ease their emotional pain with material things. A potential date has rejected us. Let's buy something. The dog has died. Let's go to the mall. Problem is, emotional fulfillment can't be bought not even on an easy installment plan. There's something inherently wrong. There's nothing, excuse me, there's nothing inherently wrong with material things. They can make life more convenient or more luxurious, but they can't fix us. Where then can true joy be found? We know the answer is within ourselves. When have we found joy? When we've offered ourselves in service to others without expectations of reward. We've found true warmth in the fellowship of others, not only in NA, but in our families, our relationships, and our communities. And we found the surest source of satisfaction in our conscious contact with God Inner peace, or excuse me, inner peace, a sure sense of direction and emotional security do not come from material things, but from within. Just for today, true joy can't be bought. I will seek my joy in service, in fellowship, in my higher power. I will seek within. Well, I made it through it, a little tongue-tied there, but I made it through it, a lot to think about. Let's go ahead and take a moment of silence, followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. The joy within. I like this because... So many of us were absent of joy when we got here. And there, now there's some people that will tell you that they had joy when they got here. They were not suffering financially. They had all of the things that a man or woman could want. But they didn't have joy within. They didn't have peace within. The using, the disease of addiction that they carried as a secret within them trying to protect their families, even though on the outside, everything seemed normal. There are people that have that experience and they can still relate to this meditation. The only difference is, is that some people were impoverished financially, spiritually, mentally, but they can relate to the other areas of impoverishment. And so where do you find joy? 
chasing after joy can often be like chasing after a drug, right? Because the using, it changed our mindset. It changed our thoughts about what we were going through. It, they just, I don't know, it didn't change the situation. It just changed the way we were thinking. We became more or less in a mode of pursuit of joy. I don't want to think about this. I need something to cause me to not worry and to be anxious, to maybe even be, you know, happy and energetic. I need something to lift me a little bit. Or if you're super anxious, I need something to bring me down a little bit. We were looking for that plateau of joy, you know, that seemed to be unattainable. Because it was something that was supposed to come from within us. Our spirits were supposed to carry it. It's a spiritual principle. So it's something that is carried from within and expressed without or outwardly. So today we have a different mindset because we have a different mind. And it's not a mind full of dope, right? It's a mind full of hope. It's something now that even when something does come up that is not okay, my mind tells me, don't let it rob your joy. It needs to be dealt with, true. Handle it effectively, but don't let it drop, rob your joy. Sometimes I get perturbed when I'm out I would say with recovering people, but just friends in general. And they'll say, you look so preoccupied. Are you okay? You don't seem okay. You know why? Because they're used to me bringing the energy. And I never say, what makes you ask that? Because if you can see it on my face enough to ask, then it's there, Right? However, I do go through the mental road of why are you letting this one thing that you're obsessing about dictate how you interact in the world, how you interact with other people? Your joy is supposed to come from within. There's nothing that you should allow to rob you, no person, no situation, rob you of your joy. And so today, I want you thinking about where do you find your joy? Is it in doing service for others without talking about it, without bragging about it? Is it um, having a group of recovering people over, sitting around a fire pit, drinking coffee and laughing and um telling recovery stories about the past, past conventions you've been to or retreats or funny situations that maybe you and one of the other attendees actually recovered through. Oh, I have so many stories about me and other people in recovery, right? I tried to look at the humor in everything today. So maybe it's that, or maybe it's spending time with your family. Maybe you're the person now that when the family is talking about getting together and doing things, they want to come to where you are. Instead of avoiding having you come, they want to come to where you are. They want to come to your home or your place. Or I know some recovering people, they have farms. And they have barns with bales of hay in the loft. They have a canning, you know, where they can can the things that they they gleam off of their, uh, from their harvest, 
right? They reap from their harvest. They have can a canning space. And it's just really beautiful. So maybe, maybe that's you. People want to hang out where you are now. Your relationships are in your communities. We are such different people than we used to be. And that inner peace, a sure sense of direction and emotional security, right? It doesn't come from material things, but it comes from within us. And it comes from a relationship with the God of our own understanding. So today, we understand that true joy can't be bought. I want you to go out and seek joy through service, through fellowship, and in your God. I want you to seek joy from within yourself. And if it's not there... I want for you to figure out why and do the work you need to do to get it there. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. I hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose. I intend to talk to you tomorrow.